We are at Lake Como. It's northern part to be exact, where the waters of the Adda River arrive working both as inlet and outlet to the lake. If we travel upstream, we would arrive in Tirano, the hometown of Selva, the only European marine outboard engine manufacturer, though they also manufacture many other things as well. The waters are murky because up until a few days ago there was a bad storm and now the river is leading the mud and debris downstream. We'll move into an area where the waters are cleaner. This rubber boat is the Selva 650DS. It is 6.58 meters long, 2.65 meters wide, weighs 590 kilograms, and can carry up to 12 people. But we know that this is the maximum capacity. Actually, this boat is ideal for four persons. What to do on a boat of this size? Knowing this could help us understand if this is the right product for our needs. Can you imagine yourself lying at the sun, right next to the person you want, a drink, a book, an awning, in paradise like this, so far away from the stresses of everyday life. While sailing, in fact, you can bring several friends with you and maybe suggest to stay here, next to the console, or to sit on the tube as it was once done. The supports are here, installed in the right location. A boat or a dinghy is used to navigate, but also to look for a quiet place where you can alternate swimming and sunbathing. So, to remain on topic, let's have a look at the sunbathing areas. This sun deck is gigantic. Actually, it also serves as a couch. The backrest is a bit low, but there is a handrail. It's difficult to find two sunbathing surfaces this big in a six and a half meters long boat. And now let's look at the lockers, because if you have not had a boat yet, you need to know that their function is not negligible. We always carry lots of equipment on board, many objects, and it is hard to find a place for everything. Here there is the stern locker. Oh, gosh, it's huge. I can even fit myself in. It has been even built isolated from the bilge, so it stays dry. Also, the bow lockers have been built the same way, and look at these frames, they are massive! The structure has to be very strong. We Italians never give up on aesthetics, so the tubes are bicolour and the finishings on the tapestries are carbon look, according to the latest trends in style. The bathing area is perfectly organised because it is large, flat, non-slip surface and then you can sit here, on the combings, to take a shower. Non hanno risparmiato potenza su questo gommone. Abbiamo a disposizione un fuoribordo selva da 150 cavalli. They have spared no power on this boat, fitted with a 150 horsepower outboard selva. You should know that this company was founded by the will of a speedboat pilot, Ezio Selva, who, 60 years ago, decided to build his race engine. Today, all four of Selva times are produced by Yamaha, but Selva adds something, maybe the mountain air, or perhaps a more aggressive control software. When you read the acronym XSR on an outboard engine, brace yourself, because it indicates that this engine still has a bit of the DNA of its founder. The block is a four-stroke, four-cylinder, four-valve per cylinder, double camshaft, 2,670 cubic centimeters, fitted with electronic injectors with Selva racing software. How does the boat respond while accelerating? It's a cross between a cruising boat, a family boat. It's for taking in the sun, but also has an awesome engine. I set a relaxing cruise speed, 
We are sailing at 16 knots, 2,700 revolutions per minute. I feel the wake here, under my feet. It starts right from here and then runs towards the stern. And its noise is pleasant. It's nice. The noise of the outboard engine even seems further away, lower than the wake itself. If now I give a bit more gas, the wake remains in the same spot. This means that the hull positioning on the water has not changed and continues to be quite immersed, even at a speed of 20 knots. If we continue to use this setup, we have maximum stability. But if we raise the trim a little bit, feel that the trail moves away, moves aft, it is clearly seen. The hull is lifted, its resistance decreases and the efficiency increases. I have not accelerated and we went from 20 to 22 knots. It is a suitable boat for those who have not ever had one because it is easy to drive, holds the route impeccably and, apart from the adjustments that I have made, and that can even be avoided, it just looks comfortable. It is gentle in turns, it does not put any strain on either the pilot or the passengers. I try to give a bit more gas, just as I'm veering, cutting a wake. The boat behaves in a very clean and precise manner. I want to try it at higher speeds. I cannot feel the wake anymore. This means that only a small portion of the hull is immersed. And in fact, we are at 4,000 RPM and 30 knots. It flows beautifully. All right, the waters are calm, everything seems easy, but it is in precisely this condition that the defects emerge. If it rolls or if it has the tendency to veer from one side to the other, we would find out now. I've not touched the helm, it continues to hold the course perfectly. I give more gas. Now we are at the limit of 40 knots, as you can also hear from the wind. It comes with a kind of summertime windshield since I get so much wind on my face. It can be pleasant when the weather is this hot, but in winter not so much. I'm entering into an area where the lake is choppy. There are more waves. All the better. This is where I want to try and push it to the limit. The headwinds make the hull raise even more. Because the tubes are not very aerodynamic, they tend to drive the bow up, like the boat is about to take off. We must pay attention to the trim and not overdo it, although this boat gives me so much confidence that I'm inclined to change the setup and take it out of the water. I'm sailing at 5,700 revs per minute and 44 knots, and I'm just so to be happy to pilot this Selva. There are many inflatable boats of this size. The market is full of six and a half meters, but this has nothing superfluous and has everything you need to have fun. And furthermore, I like how it sails. Furthermore, consider that Selva offers it in package with its engines and its price is very competitive.